Welcome to the podcast. Let's talk about what's your oxygen level, understanding oxygen saturation and why it matters. Oxygen saturation, SpO2, refers to the percentage of oxygen in the blood. It's a crucial indicator of how well your body is distributing oxygen from your lungs to your cells and tissues. Pulse oximetry measures oxygen saturation by shining red and infrared light through a body part, typically a fingertip. It differentiates oxygenated and deoxygenated hemoglobin based on their unique light absorption patterns at these two wavelengths to calculate the percentage of oxygen in the blood. At rest, 100% oxygen saturation in arterial blood equals oxygen carriage of 1000 mLs. Venous blood is 75% saturated, giving an oxygen carriage of 750 mLs. 250 mL of oxygen has been offloaded to the tissues. This 250 mL is the difference between the arterial oxygen carriage, 1000 mL, and the venous oxygen carriage, 750 mL. This value, often expressed per minute, e.g. 250 mLs per minute at rest, is an indicator of your metabolic rate. For most healthy individuals, a normal pulse oximeter reading falls between 95 and 100%. This means that 95 to 100% of your red blood cells are carrying oxygen. In this diagram, the vertical axis is labeled from 0 to 100% for the hemoglobin saturation. On the horizontal axis, you see the partial pressure of oxygen in blood in millimeters of mercury, ranging from 0 to 100. Below 95%, say in the range of 91 to 94%, is often considered insufficient. It could be a sign that something is going on with your lungs or your body's ability to get oxygen. In this range, it's generally a good idea to contact your healthcare provider for advice. This can help determine if there's an underlying medical issue that needs attention. Below 90%, at this point, it is generally considered low and can indicate a medical emergency requiring immediate medical attention. Why is below 90% such a critical point? Well, it's due to the oxygen dissociation curve showing below. It's an S shape. Think of it like a steep drop off once you go below 90%, the amount of oxygen being carried by your hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen, starts to fall very rapidly. You can see on the vertical axis, a saturation of 90% corresponds to a partial pressure of oxygen of 60, down from 100. Causes of a low oxygen saturation. Lung conditions such as asthma, bronchitis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, pneumonia, pulmonary edema, pulmonary embolism, blood clot in the lung, or a collapsed lung, pneumothorax, and various heart conditions such as congestive heart failure. So I hope you have found this talk informative. Please consider buying my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribe to this channel.